Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we are continuing unboxing season, which means we got something awesome to open up. Love this time of year. Anyway, uh, we've got here a beautiful APK 10 guitar kit from Solo Guitars. This is going to be unlike anything that you guys have actually seen me build before because it's going to be unlike anything I've ever built before. It's an acoustic. Should be fun. Let's take a look. Solo's done some great work on pretty much every kit that I've ever opened up from them, all the way from these LPs to the hollow body that I did recently, uh, to the basic Telecasters and stuff. So, you know, they come, they've got a variety of kits. I think they've got some multi-scale stuff now, cool Ibanez body shaped kits, stuff like that. A um, lot of variety and one of the best sources that I've seen. So, I like working with their stuff. Let's take a look and see how they do on an acoustic kit. I've never never seen an acoustic kit. I've never built an acoustic kit. And I find acoustic guitars to be generally kind of daunting, a little intimidating. They're not something that I would try to build on my own from scratch. Why can't I open this box? <sighs> Come on, man. But, you know, if Solo's got a kit for it, it's probably not gonna be that difficult. So, we'll give her a try. If anybody's interested in building along with me, go to the Solo Music Gear website in the description or Solo Guitars. The link in the description is an affiliate link, so if you happen to pick something up through there, it really helps me out. And you can get all your finishes, upgrade parts, everything right there. Let's take a closer look at this kit before I accidentally stab myself with this. So right from the get-go, we can see what we're dealing with here. Looks really nice to me. I, I opted for, I, I'm not very good at playing guitar, as most of you will know. Um, no point in arguing with me about that, so, so don't bother. I, I'm simply not. Uh, but I do enjoy playing, the feeling of playing electric guitars more than acoustics, usually. So, they've got a few different acoustics, dreadnought style and whatnot. I opted for the smallest one, the parlor style. So that's what we should be dealing with here. Nice little parlor style guitar. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Looks good. I'm gonna have to figure out how all this stuff works. But uh, yeah, so far so good. So this beauty is double bound. It's got a little, like for detail, a little black line there. And then your, your white binding line, which is actually, you know, triple layer. It's got its nice little rosette. Just glued right in there. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. It's very light. Mahogany sides by the looks of it. I don't know what this is, maybe a spruce top. Let's see what the other parts are. There's gonna be such a small number of parts in this one because it's an acoustic. I'm, gonna, I'm not used to this. Uh, let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. If anybody happens to be a master at building acoustics and wants to give me a couple tips um, before I try and make something that's probably gonna look a lot like a tutorial even though I don't know what I'm doing, uh, feel free. Give me some tips. Let me know in the, in the comment section below um, what I need to know here. All right, got a piece of tape there protecting that. That's fine. So truss rod clearly goes through here. Oh yeah, we'll be able to figure this out. The neck, ooh, it's a nice headstock shape. I don't know that I've seen anything quite like that before. Neck looks nice, feels nice. Fret ends need a touch of work. They're, they're kind of sharp. That's just fine. I really like these, these tiny little dot markers. Not very, uh, yeah, they're, they're a lot smaller than you usually see on the electrics at least, so that's cool. Oh, well, that's really interesting too, a little kind of scallop down section here. Start letting me know what you guys think I should do to this. I'm really tempted to do a lacquer finish on it, but I also kind of just want to oil it. So this obviously, well, I'm not going to build it into today's video, but it seems pretty straightforward, honestly. Let's put this off to the side carefully and see what else came with this kit. I think all that's left is tuning pigs and, and bridge parts. Has anybody put, in a, put an electric guitar bridge on an acoustic guitar before? I wonder. I'm not saying I'm going to, just wondering. Okay, so we've got all of our parts just right in this package. Pretty straightforward. 
First up, we've got a bridge made of, well, stained wood. <laughs> I think it's supposed to look like mahogany. It isn't, but, uh, well, you can see, yeah, there's the bridge. She looks good. It's going to be, luckily, fairly easy to position because they've already shown me where it goes. I just need to make sure the scale length is exactly right. The actual bridge itself for the saddle here, this is plastic. That's plastic, so I may, I may see if I can find an upgrade for that. If somebody has an idea of, of what I should be getting there, let me know. I'm sure Solo has an upgrade, so I'll check with them. Um, but yeah, that might, that might need to be upgraded. And then we've got, yeah, not a whole lot else going on here. A nut, also plastic, also going to upgrade that. I'm not too worried about the little pegs. They should be fairly straightforward to deal with. Although I'm obviously going to have to drill down through this once I get it installed. And then, of course, the tuners, which I may also upgrade. I probably will. All right, guys, so there we have it, the APK-10 acoustic guitar kit from Solo. Nice and, nice and light, nice and small, and all the finishing on this just looks beautiful. I am going to upgrade some of the parts, of course. I will do that by checking out Solo Music Gear and, uh, and finding the stuff that I need. So once again, if you're looking for anything and you feel like using my link in the description below, I would appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up, if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can see me build this thing. Really looking forward to it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.